This morning, St. Louis County Executive Sam Page vetoed the bill that would have kept people on the sidewalk and out of the street. A decision some are rejoicing in, but the council members who introduced the bill tell Fox 2 Jordan Williams he'll do what he can to overturn Page's veto. Yeah, Mandy, that decision this morning was two weeks in the making. It comes to the delight of Amy Waymire, who's the president of Paraquad and a wheelchair user. But the council member who introduced that bill, Ernie Trakis, tells me he'll do what he can to overturn that veto decision. For me, um, getting from point A to point B is a choice and a freedom. Amy Waymire travels from her Webster Groves home to the Walgreens across the street where she picks up her prescription. You'll notice there's no sidewalks for her wheelchair. It's a decision that may have been illegal if County Executive Sam Page did not veto Bill 86 Tuesday morning. What makes it interesting is suddenly I go from being a law-abiding citizen to somebody who is violating the law. She and her organization, Paraquad, asked County Executive Sam Page to veto the bill that would ban people from traveling or sitting in roadways in unincorporated St. Louis County. There are no sidewalks to either location and those are choices that I make to go to the places that I want to go. Until we have a better option, this is our only option. St. Louis County Councilman Ernie Trakis introduced the bill. If you live in unincorporated St. Louis County, you don't matter. That's the message St. Sam Page sent today. Cities like Baldwin, Chesterfield and Manchester already have bills preventing what Bill 86 would have done in the unincorporated parts of the county. I expected uh, a different outcome. The only way to get the bill passed now is to convince one of the three other councilors to change their vote to yes, which Trakis plans to do next Tuesday. I don't have any expectation that we'll get the fifth vote. I'm going to try, yeah. but I, I'm, I'm not holding out a lot of hope. And Mandy Trakis tells me really the only way to get that fifth vote is if the bill includes some exclusions, which she said would no longer make it neutral and, and make it susceptible to litigation. Live in Maryland Heights, Jordan Williams, Fox 2 News.